Hey guys, so I guess I was talking to a few people at my gym today and it got me thinking a little bit. I'm starting to get the itch a little bit to compete again. Um, it would just be kind of nice to be able to put something into a goal. I feel like it helped me get a little bit more focused training wise, a little bit more dial in diet wise because right now um, I'm paying a little bit of attention, but mostly just adding in activity to compensate for the extra meals. The general plan is right now is I'll probably either be doing one or two competitions. One is going to be pretty early July, I think first weekend of July. And then the other one is likely could be, I think, the last week of July. So it's either six or nine or ten weeks away. Um, it's uh, it's going to be tough kind of deciding where I'm going to land as far as that goes, and by that I mean weight class. Um, I'm kind of hovering back and forth, just been trying to maintain a little bit uh, over the past uh, six or seven months or so. Um, so right now on any given day, depending on the number of carbs, the amount of water I'm having, uh, I'll be anywhere from like 196 at the lowest to... Uh, like 203, 204 body weight. Um, I don't know, yeah, it fluctuates a lot. <laughs> but um, what I'm gonna try to do is uh, add a little bit more uh, cardio in, being a little bit conservative as far as that goes though, and uh, really try to pay attention to uh, my volumes a little bit more, just so that I'm not really taking anything away because I think probably one of the worst things you could do going into a meet is adding in too much cardio last second on top of doing something like uh, drastically reducing your calories. You're pretty much almost guaranteed not to have the type of uh, performance that you're gonna want. Um, and that's especially if you have something like a two hour weigh in. And that's gonna be another contributor because I think the, uh, the one in early July is gonna be a two hour weigh in and then the one in late July I'm assuming is uh, like it was to you. It's the same meet I did two years ago. I think that's the uh, PA state championships for RPS or something like that and uh, That is a you have the option of two hour or 24 hour weigh-in I typically had like doing the 24 hour weigh-in because I was able to uh, Drop a lot more weight, but I don't think I really want to do it this time. Um, I kind of think that I'm gonna Just start paying a little bit more attention and then I'm gonna let the chips fall where they fall um, so I'm not gonna. I don't. I don't want to have the uh, temptation of dropping uh, too much water and have it possibly affecting uh, my lifts in a big, possibly negative way. I'd rather lift more weight at a heavier body weight than uh, dropping down to a lower weight class and potentially not hitting uh, lifts that I could probably hit any other day. So, um, just gonna try to pay a little bit more attention, and if I can make it into the 198s, uh, so be it. If I'm in the uh, 220s, which uh, I probably wouldn't like as much, so be it. Um, I just kinda wanna come together and put some good numbers in. Uh, the first meet, uh, weight classes are gonna be a little bit different, so um, I believe um, I don't have a definitive answer as of yet of what the cutoffs are going to be, um, but it seems like it's almost in 50-pound jumps. So it's I think it's 150 and under, 150 to 200, 200 to 235 or 250, don't know what, and then it's the 235 or 250 plus. So I either fall into the 150 to 200 or the um, 200 to 235 or 250 or whatever it is. And... Um, I don't believe it's going by Wilkes either. I think it's going for um, whoever just lifts the most amount of weight in each of those categories. So uh, it'll be interesting. It would be it'd be who of me to be able to drop uh, a few pounds and be able to stay under 200. I think, but it, it's it's probably going to be uh, much more uh, competitive in the um, heavier weight class, especially for me. <laughs> Because you're going to be dealing with some guys that likely have 20 to 30 pounds on me. So we'll see. Um, but it's exciting, I guess, to uh, just get back in there. Uh, I don't know 
if I end up, oh, for the record, I believe the first one might be a deadlift only sort of thing. So some things to work on is uh, I'll get used to pulling with a few more, uh, with a few uh, less uh, straps. Uh, maybe I'll only add it in if I'm doing a ton of uh, sets or a ton of volume or something like that. But uh, doing that, really focusing on a bunch of static hold type of stuff just to make sure that my grip's not really going to be a limiting factor because... Um, I don't know, I'm small hand, smaller hands, so that might be an issue. The thumb thing, I don't really do hook grip so well. <laughs> so uh, I definitely want to make sure that the over-under grip is dialed in. Um, I don't believe, I might, but I might not, depending on uh, how my hip's feeling. In the late July one, I might end up doing a full power meet. I might end up just doing the push-pull division. Um, but... Again, that's going to depend on how the hips going. Uh, today was one of the better uh, days as far as how my squats felt. I did an RPE, probably seven. Yeah, RPE seven, I'd say. Um, a 400 pounds high bar squat for a set of 13 um, as a top set. Um, I was surprised at how good it felt, actually. No hip pain at all. Um, so that was a big plus. So if things keep on that track, I'll probably end up doing it. But if not... It's whatever, but I just wanted to, I guess, disseminate that information to you guys, and uh, I'll try to document some steps along the way, maybe some updates as far as uh, food goes, as far as how boring that could possibly be, uh, or uh, just cardio stuff in general. But the game plan right now, I'm gonna finish off this microcycle of hypertrophy, go right into a short, uh, probably three week uh, strength block and maybe um, I might just combine that with a little uh, Jim Wendler inspired type peak. I was talking to a friend today who's ran that type of thing with success before but uh, I'll bring you guys along with me I guess just to show you guys what I have planned but it'll be fun to get back on a platform. It'll be a good time but that's all I got for you guys today. In the meantime, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.